Well, I seen a lot of my fellow, uh, uh, I don't know how to even say it, but I see a lot of every, well, a lot of people who are in the same business as myself. And I see them saying that they went from a food truck to a brick and mortar. And I'm gonna tell y'all the God honest truth. Do what works for you. Um, don't feel pressured to just jump out there and get into a brick and mortar because everybody's situation isn't the same. Mine is definitely different from everybody else's. Um, my family owns this building. So the maintenance and you know, a lot of the equipment that was already in here, was our, it was already in here. You know, it's a couple of things that I've purchased on my own, but for the most part, freezers, refrigerators, was already here um as time goes on i'll do upgrades upgrades and maintenance but if you have it do it if you don't don't pressure yourself into getting anything or doing anything that you're not comfortable with doing excuse me but um i just wanted to let y'all know i know it's been a minute since i posted a video and I'm, I'm stern on posting this video today because i want you guys to know that you are not in a race with anybody else this is not a competition do what you can one afford and two you can manage because even running this brick and mortar i have help from my kids help me out my sister helps out she helps out with the front of the house i'm normally in the back of the house um but she can jump in and out vice versa um the help that i get from them would have cost me like i think i think if we did an average of a uh, payroll i think i would have been shelling out at least three hundred dollars a weekend and on average we're bringing in you know close to like fifteen hundred dollars a weekend which is not bad but at the same time you know let's cut as many corners as we can stack up as much money as we can and then when that time comes to hire somebody we have enough money in reserve and that was the goal that is my that was that has always been my goal and i had a bunch of people on my team who understood that um team meaning my sisters brothers and everybody else but Again, do not jump into something that you're not comfortable with. Um, always remember that at the end of the day, it's going to be you prepping, cleaning, uh, paying bills, and all that stuff. And I think now on the low end, we only operate two days out of the week, but I have refrigerators running all week. I'm paying around $190 in light bill, um, roughly about $80 a month in gas and uh water is roughly about 40 to 50 dollars so bills are not extremely a lot but imagine if i was operating five to six days a week i would have to constantly have that money coming in so um if you guys have the the mindset like i do is basically run the restaurant on the weekends food truck during the weekdays lower overhead uh not as expensive but i know for sure the luxuries of coming in the dining area one looking at the two tvs i have set up and also partaking in the wonderful air conditioner is not something that i have the pleasure of doing on the food truck but again um always remember that you are not in competition with anybody and this is not a race it's a marathon and you have to put things into perspective not only for yourself but for those who are working with you or those who um, you potentially have a thought of working with. If you look at anybody in these groups, um, these food trucks, brick and mortar, whatever, whatever group they're in, the biggest issue that they always have is help. Good help is hard to find. And somebody who understands your, um, whoever, and the person that understands your, how can I say, your wanting to be as uh self-sustainable as possible it's hard to get people to understand that and then have then have employees wasting food it's hard but again i didn't come to discourage anybody i just came to let y'all know the realities of it is don't rush into something you're not ready for and also always have the mindset of i'm going to do as much as i can with what i have i love y'all i'll see y'all later peace